मिस्टर अक्षय कुमार सुवड़े असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी स्ट्रेन एनर्जी एंड इम्पैक्ट लोड लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू डिवाइव एंड डिटरमाइन द स्ट्रेन एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन ए बॉडी ड्यू टू शीयर स्ट्रेस सो स्ट्रेन एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन ए बॉडी ड्यू टू शी ऑफ स्ट्रेस कंसिडर ए रेक्टेंगुलर ब्लॉक ए बी सी डी हैविंग लेंथ एल ब्रेड्थ बी एंड हाइट एच एंड धिस रेक्टेंगुलर ब्लॉक इज सब्जेक्टेड टू ए टेंजेंशियल फोर्स एक्टिंग अलॉन्ग द टॉप सर्फेस सी डी and the magnitude of the tangential force is p the bottom face of this rectangular block is kept fixed having length l height h and width b so various terms involved in the expression of strain energy stored in the body due to shear stress are as follows p is nothing but it is the shear force acting along face cd l length of the block b breadth h height of the block u strain energy stored in the block due to shear force due to shear force p then c c1 of d d1 is nothing but shear deformation due to shear force p acting along face cd tau is the shear stress acting along cd v is the volume of the rectangular block which is equal to product of length into breadth into height and a is the cross sectional area of the block which is equal to l into b this is the area of the block now as the shear force p is acting across the face cd this particular block a b c d will get distorted to a position a b c1 d1 where c c1 of d d1 is nothing but it is the lateral displacement of shear deformation which take place due to this tangential force p and shear stress tau is nothing but it is the shear stress due to the shear force p acting along the face cd and this force p which is acting along the face cd this force p is applied gradually and hence the strain energy stored in the body is nothing but it is the work done by the applied load in order to stretch the body so as this load p is applied gradually the average load is to be taken so average load into 
distance this is nothing but strain energy stored in the body because strain energy is nothing but it is the work done by the applied load in stretching or deforming the body and therefore average load that is p upon 2 and the distortion which take place due to the shear force is represented by cc1 or dd1 so p divided by 2 into cc1 now in order to determine the strain energy stored in the body we have to determine the value of shear force and the value of cc1 that is this lateral of shear deformation so as we know the shear force is equal to shear force is given by sh shear stress multiply by area so in our case the shear force is p and due to the shear force p the phase cd is subjected to shear stress tau so p is equal to tau into area of this rectangular block so area of the rectangular block is nothing but l into b so it is l into b and therefore the value of shear force is nothing but tau into l into b this is my equation number 1 and now in order to find out this lateral displacement of shear deformation from this particular diagram as the block a b c d is distorted to a position a b c1 d1 due to the tangential force p acting along the face cd and from this particular triangle b c c1 the shear stress tan phi shear strain tan phi is equal to c c1 divided by cb as this angle phi is very small therefore tan phi is equal to phi and hence we can write phi is equal to cc1 divided by bc and therefore the value of cc1 is phi into bc where this bc is nothing but it is the height of the block and therefore cc1 is equal to phi into h so this is my equation number 2 so the equation number 1 and equation number 2 gives the value of shear force and the shear deformation now as we know the modulus of rigidity tau modulus of rigidity is represented by c and it is defined as it is the ratio of shear stress to shear strain so shear stress is tau and shear strain is phi and therefore you can write phi is equal to tau upon c now what is the shear strain that is represented by the ratio cc1 divided by bc so cc1 divided by bc is equal to tau upon c and therefore what is the value of cc1 that is tau upon c into bc that is h so this is the shear deformation cc1 and therefore strain energy stored in the block due to the shear stress that is equal to p divided by 2 into cc1 
so what is the value of p that we have calculated that is tau into l into b that is shear stress multiply by area into c c1 so value of c c1 is tau upon c into h so here divided by 2 so you can rewrite tau into l into b into h so tau multiply by tau it is tau square and divided by 2 times c now product of length breadth and height that is nothing but it is the volume of this rectangular block and therefore strain energy stored in the block due to the shear stress that will be equal to tau square upon 2c into v where v is equal to volume of the block which is given by the product of length into breadth into height. So, by using this particular equation, we can determine the strain energy stored in a rectangular block due to the shear stress. So, the material is referred from the book of strength of materials by Dr. R. K. Bansal and S. S. Bhavi Kati. Thank you.